Hello everyone, I am GC Rock and today I'm going to be showing you how best to grind for legendaries and outriders and how not to do it. I also have some gameplay to show you with the death shield on a build that I'm working on and in this gameplay I get some legendary items using this method I'm about to tell you. Please hit like and share if you enjoyed the video and if you're new to the channel then make sure that you also subscribe for more outriders content. I'm also the founder of a huge looter shooter community so once you're done with the video go and check the video description to find a discord link to our server. So what I have noticed is that a lot of people are using challenge tier 15 to grind for legendaries. It seems great because for a gold time you'll get a 25% chance at the end to get a legendary and if you get silver you get a 12.5% chance. The problem is that until you have the build that you're grinding for you're most likely going to be getting silver on most of the expeditions and that means it'll take you a lot of time for that 12.5% chance of a legendary. I was doing the same thing and if we take a look at my times here, you'll see that very few have been completed with a gold time. My original thought process was that I was getting a lot of resource pods, but now I have been maxed out on these for a while, there's no real need for them or resources. Just take a look at what I currently have. At this stage, when all I want is legendary items to improve my build and unlock more mods, I am much better off grinding challenge tier 13 expeditions. For gold, you do only get a 15% chance of a legendary item, but you'll get gold more often and in half of the time. Most of the items that you get you'll be dismantling for mods anyway, and if you do want to keep a legendary that you get, then you'll only be 2 levels off max level and you can max it out at the crafting menu. This really is the best way to farm for legendaries once you get to this stage of the game. It is also easier to do solo, it is easier to do in a group and it is very easy to matchmake with others and do this with randoms. You won't get a legendary item every time but out of the 4 runs that I did last night I got a legendary to drop on 3 of them. Including this run now where I got the legendary high roller to drop which is the weapon that I wanted for a mod. I was delighted and this build you are about to watch in this gameplay is just one more mod away from being ready to reveal to you and do some speedrun streams and I can't wait to do that. Don't forget to hit like and share on this video if you have enjoyed it and also subscribe for more content from me. I will now leave you now with this gameplay. Don't forget to also check out our community link in the video description once you are done and thank you all for watching and until next time stay safe and peace out.
This must be the Colosseum. Who the hell are you?
I think that's the last of the monsters, but that maniac isn't too happy about it. Here we go. Shot. Maybe you'll finally shut up now. The pot is ours. Outrider detected. Access granted.